lawyer. He was elected to the Rhode Island House of Representatives and twice served as Speaker of the House. In June 1861, married to Sarah Hart Shumway and with a young family of two boys, Sullivan joined the Union Army. Two weeks before the first battle of Bull Run, he wrote this letter to his beloved wife. He would not survive the battle. And Sarah, Sarah would never remarry. Dear Sarah, the indications are very strong that we shall move in a few days, perhaps tomorrow. And lest I should not be able to write you again, I feel impelled to write a few lines that may fall under your eye when I am no more. I have no misgivings about or lack of confidence in the cause in which I am engaged and how great a debt we owe to those who went before us. And I am willing, perfectly willing, to lay down all my joys in this life to help maintain this government and to pay that debt. Sarah, my love for you is deathless. It seems to bind me with mighty cables that nothing can break. And yet the love of country comes over me like a strong wind and bears me irresistibly with all those chains to the battlefield. How hard it is for me to give up and burn to ashes the hopes and future years, when, God willing, we might still have lived and loved together and see our boys growing up to honorable manhood around us. If I do not return, my dear Sarah, never forget how much I loved you. And when my last breath escapes me on the battlefield, it will whisper your name. But oh, Sarah, if the dead can come back to this earth and flit unseen around those they love, I shall always be with you in the brightest day and in the darkest night. Wait for me, for we shall meet again. <laughs>